Kansas. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. I can't tell you how much I loved this. Kansas, 48, Houston, 30. This is the first Kansas team to win two road games in a season since the 2007 Orange Bowl team. Not bad. Houston opened up this game 14 to nothing. Um, of course, Kansas came down and scored, and then Houston threw a pick, and that was all she wrote because Kansas immediately tied the game, and they dominated from there. Uh, if you look at what actually went on here, um, I skipped ahead a little bit, didn't I? Uh, if you look at what happened, uh, Kansas scored six straight touchdowns other than the drive that ended the half. Six straight touchdown drives for them. And then, of course, they closed it out with two field goal drives at the end. Um, I mean, just just awesome. Jalen Daniels, by the way, absolute stud. Absolute stud. And I know that nobody wants to talk about it, but when a guy is this good at Kansas and he still has a bunch of eligibility left, who's going to try and pay him? Who's going to try and pay him to try and get him to leave? I don't think he'll leave because I think what Leipold is building there is a culture and he built it quicker than anybody could have imagined because it's not it, he's been there not even a year and a half at this point. I mean, he has he got there in April of last year. Like it took that amount of time, just a minuscule amount of time for them to be able to build something up here. Uh Houston dumb mistakes over and over and over again. Uh, this defense could not stop the run. Sir, uh, uh, excuse me, Kansas, not Syracuse. Kansas 43 runs in the game, averaged 5, excuse me, 6.5 yards per run. That will get you beat almost all the time. Uh, Kansas had more yards per play. Now, Houston had more total yards. Houston had two turnovers. Um, third down tries, Kansas was more efficient on third down. Uh, Houston went forward on fourth once, didn't get it. Kansas went forward on fourth once and did get it. Kansas had more scoring opportunities. That's drives inside the 40-yard line. Uh, they scored 5.86 points per on that. They had 14 points off of turnovers. They they had better field position at their own 36 as opposed to K, uh, Houston's own 27. I mean, this was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful game. And I'm hoping that College Game Day is headed there next week. Because, man, what what an atmosphere in Lawrence, Kansas. Like, you know that College Game Day has been there for basketball quite a bit, but how many times have they been there for football? That'd be a big old zero, my friends. Big old zero. Uh, Cuse jumps in. Cuse is rocking. Yeah, yeah, Cuse got lucky with that win yesterday, but think about this. Syracuse is 3-0. Kansas 3-0. Duke is 3-0. Kentucky's 3-0. I mean, what is going on here? Like, what, what, kind, of, what kind of mayhem are we trying to cause? Uh, Clayton Toon, again, not great, but was about the only thing that they had. He was their leading rusher. Um, they just they they can't seem to figure out exactly what they want to do. Like without the running back that they lost in the offseason, uh, they they just can't they can't figure things out. Like it's I don't know what is happening in that defense. Man, they gave Belk that huge contract, and this team. Yikes! I mean, this is not good. This is not a good Houston team. Um, regardless, I mean, you see the win probability. It was a heavily favored Houston's way, especially when they went up 14 to nothing. And then it just drops, and you see Kansas just rides that thing out. What a fantastic, fantastic win for the Kansas Jayhawks. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.